Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, we're going to take a look at how to complete and post jobs with a status of skipped or canceled. From our Home tab, our first step is to open the Office tab, and then we'll select Enter Work Orders That Have Been Completed. At the top of the screen, we can choose our desired employee, or we can leave employees set to all in order to view multiple technicians. In our From dropdown, we'll select our first date, and then we can choose a second date to produce a range. We're going to focus on 6-30-2012. Using the plus option here at the far left hand side, we're going to add notes. These notes are going to be the reason why our customer has chosen to skip this particular recurring job that they have done. Then we'll set our status to skipped. This will skip the service on 6-30-2012 and will be moving on to their next scheduled date of 8-11-2012. If you take a look at the top of the screen, although we have post jobs to QuickBooks selected and we've chosen to mark QuickBooks invoices to be printed, we're not going to produce an invoice in the amount of $107.13 for this customer because we are choosing to post it with a status of skipped. When we select Post, it removes this transaction from the screen. and We're going to look into that customer's history in just a moment. For our next example, if we look at this install for Alan and Lena Oliver, what we'll do here is select Plus, add our notes, and enter in the reason for our cancellation. Once we've saved our notes, we'll be sure to set the status here from Completed to Canceled. Now this installation had custom dates, so we'll be removing 630 and those other custom dates. Um, as in our first example, we are going to produce no invoice in the QuickBooks company file when we choose this option here to post. Now in this case, we'll also have a prompt. Uh, we've canceled this job. Would we like to remove it from the scheduler? Yes, I would like to remove those additional dates. And again, this transaction will drop off of the screen. To take a quick look at the results of completing and posting jobs with these statuses, if you do a search, here's a search actually for Alan and Lena Oliver. If we open up their customer record and move into their history tab, uh, we can see at the top of the screen installation for this. In our other example of skipping, if we do a search for the last name Hire, the record for Georgette Hire, we can move into her history tab and we can see that on 630 this was skipped if you double click in the job additional info there we can see the reason to skip this particular service yours of course would be more detailed for more how to's and articles please follow us on facebook or twitter or read our blog at www.smartservice.com